Hi guys, welcome back to Scrap in Scotland. Uh, I thought I'd uh, bring you along on this journey today. I'm going to take apart uh, one of the items I actually grabbed last night from my skip tip. It's an industrial floor polisher. Uh, it was so heavy that I couldn't actually get it to the workshop, so I've actually just done it outside the car because it's just too heavy to lift round to the workshop. Uh, so I will try and position the camera so you can see me taking it apart. Uh, show you the, the thing itself. So that's it with the bottom plate removed. That was a bottom steel plate. Big thick heavy plate. That was the plastic covering went around the plate. And this is what we have left. So it is really heavy. It is kind of steel around this bit. There's a lot of plastic there as well, but I'm hoping that it's so heavy because there's a huge motor inside. Uh, and for what I can see underneath, there's definitely a motor inside, so we will see what we can do. Uh, thanks for joining us, guys. That's a solid bit of steel, that bit. Yes. A piece of aluminium. Ah. 
Ja, 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 Still some screws to get out here, here. Uh, a little bolt here as well. There's a bolt in here. I'm not sure how to get that one out because it looks like it's deep set. Movement. Let's see if we can just lift it up and drop it out. There's our motor guys, nice nice big motor, lovely copper in there as well as you can see, aluminium uh, sides, aluminium top, aluminium bottom, uh, yeah, fantastic, this is what we do it for, nice big motors like that. Let's get that out of the way, because that's heavy. Clean up our tools. People don't think I'm recording. Now I'm recording you and all. Just 
Come to the here, be my grandma as assistant. <laughs> I was talking with you, Daro. Sides of the motor. It's a big fella, yeah. So I there's about half a dozen of these things in there, eh? But I just couldn't lift them all. Really? Aye. Too much effort, mate. An old man like me. Right, so what we've got left is the handle. You can see the bottom there's aluminium struts, and actually the handle body looks like it's aluminium as well. It's definitely aluminium. So uh, I'll probably go and take this apart inside rather than doing it out here. It's really just getting the aluminium off it anyway, guys. There will be some switch mechanisms in here. Hopefully, a little transformer. Uh, but I'll bring you back for that. Okay, so. I'm going to pause it there and I'll bring you back when I'm inside doing this, alright? Cheers guys. Alright guys, late in the evening. I uh, just wanted to give you a quick run through of the complete breakdown now. Now that we've completed it. So, as you'll see I've had a change of top because it's a uh, warm day. A little bit sweaty. So, uh, I'll show you what was the complete teardown and yield from the floor polish. So, as you can see, this is all the aluminium that we got. Okay, a little bit of extrusion in there, which was inside this piece. This is a nice piece of aluminium as well, which was the neck of the handle. A couple of aluminium struts. Okay, aluminium base plate. Aluminium brace. A little piece of aluminium on the bottom of this, which needs to be taken off. Uh, a big heavy bit of steel which was on the bottom of the floor polisher this piece oh, uh, seems like it's just weight ballast that's actually stainless steel I was surprised by that but checked it and it is definitely stainless steel so that was great uh, this is all those kind of screws and stuff we took out Couple of little bits in there, bits and bobs. Uh, another couple of bits and bobs to put in. Just a couple of lots of brass and stuff in there as well. In terms of wire, not a lot, as you can see. Got this one bit of wire. Couple of little pieces. We've got a little bit for the handle. It's got a bit of brass on each end. That's obviously for the switch mechanism. Uh, a bit like pulling a, a bicycle brake uh, and then the rest of it was plastic waste this obviously a nice big bit of steel as well and we'll get that off we'll take the other little bits of steel out of here as well that's still in here before we put that into the plastic waste and the piece de resistance was the nice big motor that we've got there okay quick rundown of the tools used so there's my work pro socket set comes in beautifully and handy uh, my mini socket set for the drill my reliable wash drill okay my pliers and a little screwdriver and that's all we needed and that my friends is where the video ran out where the phone ran out of battery uh, but we did have a good day in terms of our scrapping we got it all scrapped all taken apart we got a fantastic yield of aluminium you know lots of uh, cast aluminium from the struts uh, bits from the motor which i will obviously take apart and do a video doing because they're definitely some of the biggest motors i've had uh, in recent times 
Uh, the neck of the handle as well was a nice big piece of aluminium, as you saw. And there's a couple of little bits of machined aluminium in there as well uh, that I never actually highlighted, but you can actually see in the video there at the end. Uh, a couple of nice little pieces, actually, that I'll probably keep because it's actually just little pieces of art, in my opinion, as well, some of the, some of the machine stuff. Uh, so I did really enjoy doing that. Uh, you know, I think in terms of was the trip worth it, definitely, you know, the jackpot skip paid out very well. Uh, and although some of the other stuff that I got from that skip, the motors were much smaller. They're more like uh, Hoover motors. Uh, obviously, these items, the big floor polish polishers, proved to have huge motors in them. So that was really great. Uh, I say not a lot of wire things in them. Other than the cord that I've taken off. Uh, and the cord has actually taken me. I probably filmed that video a few days ago. Uh, it's taken me the last few days to get through the cords. Because there's just been so many of them. Uh, and they were so long. So just getting through them at the moment. Uh, but you know it's a nice problem I have. But hopefully you enjoyed uh, me taking that one apart guys. As I say, if you come across them, take them. They are heavy, uh, there's no doubt there, uh, with the big steel plate on the bottom, the huge motor, the stainless steel ballast. Uh, and what a fantastic surprise that was, actually, that big chunk of metal that we've taken off the top there. Never thought that would be stainless steel in a million years, and actually was surprised when I put a magnet to it. Uh, almost never put a magnet to it, I was just going to chuck it in the steel pile, but for some reason, I put a magnet to it. Uh, and... It didn't stick, so I thought, fantastic. Uh, took a little bit of paint off it with the grinder. Uh, and then hit it significantly with the grinder. And it sparked, so it's stainless steel. Uh, and, yeah, fantastic. Great stuff. So a little bit uh, unexpected, but a pleasant surprise. So again, hope you enjoyed that one, guys. If you did, hit that subscribe button. And we will see you on the next Scrap in Scotland. Bye for now.